In this episode, we're heading into Yamba. In our last episode, we're at Grafton, which is also on the Clarence River. Yamba is at the mouth of the Clarence River. We love Yamba. We come here a fair bit and we wanted to share it with you guys. It's a fishing village, a holiday resort, and also a place where people live and work. Yamba is a 63-kilometre drive north of Grafton. As you approach Yamba on this last section of the drive, the road crosses over a series of estuarine islands and tidal inlets. These are great spots for fishing or taking the tinny out. The river is a well-known fishing spot for blackfish, jewfish, flathead, groper, snapper and more. At high tide in the numerous island creeks that flow into the Clarence River, there are plenty of mulloway, flathead and brim to be found. And all along Oyster Channel, fishing for a variety of species from the bridge, riverbank, rocks, boat or even a kayak is very popular. Brim, flathead, whiting and live bait like mullet and nippers can all be found in the shallower sections of Oyster Channel. The Clarence River first came to the attention of the young colony of New South Wales in 1839. The Deputy Surveyor General journeyed with an expedition on the King William steam vessel and recorded that they entered the bar of the river on May 25 over two fathoms of water. Once inside the immense estuarine expanse, they anchored on an inner shore of the river and took time to investigate. They observed an existing Aboriginal village, fitted out with huts and signs of advanced industry. The surveyor wrote, the canoes were formed with care and were moored in a line in front of the village. They appeared to possess habits of industry with fishing nets, baskets, water vessels, cooking utensils and huts being constructed with particular care and neatness. Further into the river, more villages like this were observed with similar accounts recorded. The surveyor's records show that Aboriginal people of the Clarence were well settled and had built their villages on these banks around their subsistence lifestyle, enjoying all the bounty the river brought them. They constructed fine huts and detailed items for industry using the natural resources of the area. So it's almost lunchtime. We stopped in at the Clarence River Fisherman's Co-op. So to be a part of the co-op, there's about 100 professional fishermen who source all the fresh uh, seafood from around the area. And we've picked up fish bites and some chips to share. And, and chicken, chicken nuggets. nuggets. <laughs> Because of the wet weather and the threat of storms, we didn't get to the beaches during this visit. However, we were here in November 2023, and I captured these drone shots on a beautiful sunny day. The beaches here are beautiful and include a beach with lifeguards and a saltwater ocean pool. The rocky breakwaters that now guide boats into the river have pathways where you can walk out and even observe dolphins swimming. Our next stop was the Yamba Museum, run by the Port of Yamba Historical Society. The museum has a $5 entry fee per adult, 
and features a variety of exhibits that tell the story of Yamba's life as an early settlement. A model railway shows the building of the Clarence Harbour, while another section shows a surfboard damaged by a shark attack near Angari. All of the museum's exhibits about shipping, surfing and industry tell the story of life in Yamba from the First Nations people to the present day. Within the museum's old kirk, a new exhibit is displayed every couple of months which usually has a strong community focus. We headed back south towards Grafton, hoping to stop in again at the small riverside village of Almira. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a parking space as the parking lots were all full. The streets of this village with its historic charm, arts and crafts boutiques and the very popular Almira Hotel draw visitors here in large numbers. So be sure to get in early if you're looking for a parking spot here. We can tell you from experience though, the food at this hotel is really good. Thanks for watching. We'll be taking a break over Easter and for the rest of March. Our next video should be available sometime in April. Until then, we look forward to spending those minutes with mates. <laughs>